Alright, this is Black Knight 94 with manga recommendation number 4. For those of you who are aware, manga recommendation number 3 was Nejima. Now, what do you think 4 would be given? So, I'm just going to come out with it. UQ Holder, right on the spot. Comes out, came out with a, a little over 100 chapters. One chapter just got released last night. It's a great follow-up to Nejima. So for those who haven't read Nejima, there will be some light spoilers. But, uh, I mean, somewhat heavy, so it's uh, slight light. Fuck it. You guys should know. You guys should know. This is about the sequel, not the previous. And if anything, this really, up until a certain point, only touches upon the connection to the original. One being the beloved character known as Evangeline McDowell. The immortal vampire is the one who introduces us through this series. And she is the raising parent of the... Uh, of the grandchild. Quote, unquote. Grandchild of Neggy Springfield of the first series. So, with the quote, unquote, you know, spoilers as well. But more or less, we know, based off the end of Nezuma... Negi is supposedly immortal, and yet he has been claimed to have died. That being said, the reason I'm doing this is the manga review, uh, manga recommendation, is because of the recent revelation of Baruto and Naruto being dead. And I used these two series to, you know, kind of defend that little part. But that aside, this series so far is amazing. You can actually find, I think, up to at least Volume 7 already in America. So you got much to learn on. You have much to find. So, this series, beautifully done so far. It, unlike the last one, it doesn't really focus too, too much on the harm. Mainly because, unlike Neji, Mr. Tota Kano, uh, he doesn't have 30-something-odd girls to come falling in love with him. He does have a few, though, so... I'll give it that much. See? But his main focus is Evangeline, so... He, he wants that old, old vampire poon. Sorry for the profanity, but that's what it is. Although he really is quite innocent in terms of relationships. Even in comparison to Negi. Which is weird, because he wasn't brought up to be half as gentlemanly as he was. Oh. Oh, before I forget about the uh, plot premise, the real premise isn't that he's just being, he's just living with, uh, with Evangeline, who he calls Yuki Jaime. He basically becomes a mortal vampire. Unlike Negi, who only had one technique that made him partially immortal, this is full-on immortal vampire. But he also learns that technique as well, so... But not to the point that Neji has. Neji's like, ooh, I'm full lightning. No, he only has the base of it. But he also has Asuna's ability to cancel out magic. Now, another thing I like about this sequel... Actually, it's kind of parallel to Baruto's little, you know, chakra machine... Is that, you know, they have new things for magic. Ever since Negima, where magic was secret, magic has come out. So the world is a lot different. Neji's huge plan for the space elevator has been completed. Now they're on to other stuff using the space elevator. And the space elevator, believe it or not, is Toda's goal. More or less. It's kind of funny. That doesn't exactly stand for his overall goal in the end. That was nothing more than the premise goal. So yeah, there are um, there will be a plot shift a little early in, to be honest. Because it's only two years in right now. And it's already come on a much more dramatic scale than Nejima did in its time. So, that being said, this series, the plot is well written. The, uh, Side characters are well written. And unlike Nekimo, it took its time, but very beautifully crafted out. Ken Akamatsu this time 
He went a little faster, but still gave us the same exact quality. So now, you know, we have that nice little... Not only that, the art style's improved. As I mentioned in the previous manga recommendation, he had two romance series, at least before, even Nejima. The art style was very subtle. And while our style still holds today, even when you read those first two series, during the fight scenes of Nejima, as they got more heat up, so did his art style. That stands in this, in UQ Holder. So you guys will enjoy this very much. So, you guys will really enjoy not just the series, but the characters, the villains, the technology, the world building. So I really hope you guys really enjoy this. But if you haven't read Nejima before this, read that first. Nejima, as I forgot to say in its re manga recommendation, has been completely translated. It can be found in Barnes Nobles, your libraries, and so on and so forth. This one as well, I think you can find in your local libraries, depending on if they hold manga or not. And in terms of, you know, store, I have already bought the first five volumes myself. I love it so much, I own them. I didn't I'm not just a scanlator. I, I mean, not scanlator. I don't scanlate. I don't translate. Bullshit. Okay. 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 You know what I'm trying to say. I have, I support the original work when it comes here. Actually, I don't have any Nezuma volumes. I'll buy a few. Either way, you guys read this. Enjoy it. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Alright, I hope I see you guys later. Peace. Yeah.